Okay, if that's the case then, then um, I'm not going to worry about staging it at all. So we're just going to go here today. Um, <laughs> so um, we do need to stretch out first. I know a lot of people are already dancing, but what I find happens, um, let's go with that half stretch first of all. What I find happens is that this tends to use um, muscles that the others don't. And tomorrow we'll be very sad. Feels nice, actually. Do this. 
Okay, so the basic rhythm that we're going to do for Galliard looks like this. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, five, six. You can clap that with me. Anyway, sorry, I wear much faster with this than I did before. So I kind of feel ashamed of myself, but I'll probably apologize for it too much more. <laughs> okay, so everybody, go on. Okay. <laughs> 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 You get lost during the gallery. Just count to yourself. One, you can cure yourself with one, two, three, four, five, six. Not only, no matter where you are, you can just be yelling numbers in your own head. Okay. The base move that I'm going to teach you are bows. I think our bows are the most successful, most neatly and cleanly described of all the gallery ones. My I like it. So I'm going to turn around. Everybody see my feet without me lifting my skirt? Yes. They're okay? Okay. So we're gonna kick. We'll start by kicking our left foot. Kick your right foot. Left, right. And then we're going to cadenza and put that right foot back and behind the end of the house. Like so. Okay. The beats with that are one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Then I'm gonna pull from my back leg, the one that's behind is the one that's gonna go forward. I'm going to go right, left, right, left, and then down. Going again from the left foot, which is the one that's behind. Left, right, left, right, cadenza, and then right, left, right, left, cadenza. Okay, and you can keep that nice and low if you um, aren't so jointly inclined, so to speak. If I had lived here, you'd be bouncing off the walls into the 18 and still has joints to lose. <laughs> but I would keep it, I will be keeping it nice and low. Okay, so what I want to practice now is just a series of things using the base move. Um, so we're going to do four of those in place, and by those I mean the one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a base chunk, that's a second base. Okay, um, that's the English chart for that chunk of stuff. So we're going to do four basic second pace, in place. Okay. Then we can do them side to side. So I can go one, two, three, four, six, two, three, four. Let's try that. Let's try traveling that. Like that. So we've done four in place. We're going to do four back and forth. Like that. Okay? So one, two, three, four. Left foot. One, two, three, four. Set ends of 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 one, two, three, now he says you can do it going around the room. So we can travel with it now. Third variation. He swears these are different. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do that exact same move. I'll demo one and then so it's gonna be like one, two, three, four. That is a pretty, pretty self-explanatory, right? Let's do four of them in a circle together. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Ten into one. 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 Okay. Fourth variation using these steps. Okay? He says you can do them turning and going around the room. So I was going around the room. I can also twirl while I go around the room and go. <laughs> and yeah, it is different. <laughs> okay. okay. So um that be different than moving your body is <laughs> But he lists it separately as a separate one. So there's a, um, in case you guys haven't seen the Compasso book, it's 1560, oldest book on the Wow. where it lists, this, it lists variations. So he has like a series of, you can do this one, and then you can do this one, and you can do this one, and they're in no order whatsoever. <laughs> 
So I started pulling them out, like, these are all basic ones. They're going in this pile. And wouldn't you know, some of the later writers put them in order. <laughs> and went, these are all the ones that deal with the petty. These are all the ones that deal with the toe and heel stuff. These are all the basic ones. These all have Campanelle in them. They got smart later. <laughs> Campasso just went, Meh. and there it is. <laughs> okay, so um, he lists these separately. He thinks so, he appears to think of them separately. Um, so, but he doesn't describe what any of the moves mean. His idea is Caroso. Stick in Caroso to make it work. But it, it, it shops pretty easily. Photoshop. Wow. We're photoshopping names. <laughs> shops pretty neatly from Caroso to this, uh, fortunately. So that was that made it better. Okay, so let's try. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to stay in the circle to turn you go around the room. But just kind of watch where you turn and try not to run into anybody. Just like you normally would on a dance floor. Um, Let's do four of them. Hello, are you joining? No. Okay. Oh. God, no. oh. <laughs> well, welcome anyway to sit. Which direction did you spin? Um, I tend to go over my left shoulder because of how often we With go over my left shoulder. Turn. But you could go left. You should be able to do both. Yeah, you should be able to do both. Sometimes I'll change direction if I get dizzy. <laughs> but twirl any way that pleases you best. I will demonstrate over my left shoulder. I, there's no telling whether that's right. <laughs> I don't think there is a right wrong on this one. Okay, so everybody twirling. One, two, three, four. I go. One, two, three, four. I am. One, two, three, four. Two more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And six. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, spiral. That's spiral again. Yeah. Not a okay. Okay. Do we want to review the four we just learned before adding the fifth? Yes. Yes, please. Okay. So what we will do? This is our routine. We don't really need to do it this way when we actually do the dance. We'll kind of want. Um, four in place. Four side to side. Four going around our set. And then we'll destroy the circle to do the twirly bits anywhere you want. Okay, so you're doing 16 total single pace. Okay. Hopefully I can breathe through it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three, four. In place. Kick, kick, kick. Cut in. One, two, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Side to side. Left, right, left, right. If you don't do it, it's okay. It's pretty much If you're just like this, because my Caruso didn't like. So, so probably everybody. <laughs> Basically, be bothered to spend the time here writing about how annoyed. But it's nice that he says that because then right. every time we do a however, however, we also know we're doing it right, right. for a period. Of time. <laughs> Do you want any more air coming through or anything? Are you okay? Um, I'm okay. Okay. Are people okay? Okay. It's not too bad. Even then, well, I'm judging because I'm not too overheated in this. So. Bozo on. <laughs> I want freeze people either. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, how are you feeling? Good? Okay. Sounds like I'm good. Alright. You will have a Dessert revel, your choice. <laughs> um, okay, 
So now that we've done this first four variations from Compasso and our boat combined, uh, we are going to do the fifth one. This is called the Mulinella. It's actually in this is called what? Mulinella. It's like M-O-L-I-N-E-L-L-O. -L 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 -L. Mulinella means little mill. What that looks like is this. I'm going to kick, kick, kick. Slow down. One, two, three, four. It's a big game, just like you would do in Compasso. You may have this way. So in fact, um, let's just turn around without the same things attached to it. So if you take, I like to reach out and grab and pull with my left hand. That helps me turn over the left shoulder. So I'm going to turn over my left shoulder. Reach out and grab with the right hand through the right pole. Okay. Do you want to, when we're doing the gallery, do you want to make it move much versus doing just circle over your left shoulder in place? Or, you know? Or depends on the space you have. Depends on the space you have. I mean, it's. Remember, right? It's like the shoe. Yeah. And honestly, if you make it like double long, you can always do one, two, three, four. Right. And then do two as opposed to one, one. You could hypothetically. Let's see what else. <laughs> I tend to not space it out far enough, but I think it should feel enough like that figure if I don't do that. So the goal is to kind of make a shape. Um, the first one is one same pace. You can see why it's, it's easy to just turn it and not make that shape at all. And then go the other way. So if we do two regular molinelli, plural molinella, We'll have done one second pace, two second pace, three, and four. So that's two, but it's four total second pace. Does that make sense? Are there rules as to what foot we're starting out on? Should be your left foot. That's what I figured. Yeah. Um, at least Caruso loves that left foot. He writes a couple pages on why it's how to be the left foot. It's kind of sweet. If you go back and read it. For him devoting so much time and effort to why it has to be your left foot. Because it's weaker. It shows that what, what, what's the date on this? Uh, Caruso, the one that I was reading. Pardon me? 1989. It's about time, it's, and I'm serious about this connection. That's about time our major started to march and step again. Well, Arbo mentions that in his book about that's why you start on the left because of marching. Mm -hmm. Yes. Arbo was a little more practical. Right. <laughs> I, it was a little earlier. Yeah. I started with left foot for us CA purposes, but I've always felt it like because maybe because I'm right-handed, I'm right-footed. I always feel like I'm much stronger to do to lead with that because I've got some quad control here. So. Yes. Yeah. Um, version. I guess Carlos spends a lot of pages talking about the movement of celestial bodies, trying to tie to pseudoscience. He really wants to make sure people understand dance is important, not trivial things. So it's kind of cute how he does that. But the thesis, the big thesis, I guess the big thing with I took on it is I, for all those good reasons, I would start off on my left foot. <laughs> Very good, thank you, Caprio. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I gotta say, exactly. We need, you need this for the dialogue. Alright, <laughs> alright, alright. Right. Now I need to reread that passage. I should read it. I recommend it. He's, he's so darn serious. It's kind of, it makes me go. Just the thing that matters, and then the thing about the stuff that matters to us now, I mean, 200 years, someone will read our diary and go, why would we put this on Facebook? <laughs> why, why would we be so mad about this? Anyway, so Facebook Twitter dances. Twitter dances. <laughs> <laughs> it only works for the bot for Gundy and Bossa, because then you can just do like R, S, S, R. <laughs> 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 right. That was cool. So we're going to move it now, though. Over the left and over the right, and then do it again to left and right. So that's the move. So everybody kind of clear out. Well, we can do it nice and slow to make sure it's not too bad. <laughs> okay, turning over the left shoulder, left foot starting. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Hi, Pop. You done good? Mm -hmm. Quick time with music. Yeah, we okay. So that's what we're going to do with music. I'm going to put on New Year's Eve, which is an irregular galliard, but for our purposes right now, won't make no difference whatsoever that it's irregular. Um, we, um, getting to, here we go.
We will do a routine of four in place, four side to side, four round circle, four twirling, and four or two total mulinelli, which is four second pace to make up the two. All right. I'm going to let you listen to it for the equivalent of four second pace before we dance. Okay? It's not real fast. All the stuff we've done. Okay. Oh, where are you, buddy? This is the same thing we did before. Yeah. Really? You're not going to work? Uh, here, did you? I was trying to get out of here. Oh, uh, oh. sorry, we all have this. <laughs> we all own these. So 
and then you have our bow too. So there's so many different sources for what you can do in a Kelly Derby that I'll never be done teaching it until my legs fall off. <laughs> you know, I think I done these steps in class, and I didn't know what what it was. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, that was cool. Um, I think I want to do uh, Campanella. Okay. So we're gonna do the Campanella, not our bows bow, which is you'll see people do this. But that's cool. You could do that if you want. Or you want to do it. But that's not the one we're gonna study right now. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do Compasso's uh, Campanella, which I'm gonna be borrowing from Carosa Clark. He doesn't explain what Campanella is in the original manuscript, but uh, Carosa does. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna have? Okay. okay. Your bell is gonna start from the back. That way, <laughs> when you go to do your cadenza, your foot's on the front, and then I can actually go somewhere with the cadenza as opposed to the cadenza, which looks like. Okay, that's why that decision was made. Whether or not it was here at cadenza, or it's here at cadenza, there's no evidence to suggest it's perfect either way as applied to the galliard. I think this looks better, personally, than. Feels better. Yeah. Well, the chances was, are your foot is forward if, or back if you came in from another sequence. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so I tend to go with whatever. I think dancing should feel nice. If it feels awkward, maybe another reconstruction is in order. So it should feel nice. So what we can try, um, you're going to start by kicking back, swing the leg forward, back, forward, now you will put a hop on each one of these, so now let's try adding the hop in. You go back, front, back, front, cadenza. Okay, my right foot now goes back, front, back, front, cadenza. Do it again. Left, 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 cadenza, and right, 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 cadenza. Okay, vanilla. <laughs> Let's do um, four of them in a row, and then I'm going to show you some easy stuff to do and to make it seem fancy. Do you do it while twirling? I think you're doing something really neat. You're not doing anything really difficult at all. It's all an illusion of my heart. <laughs> um, okay. Alright. So, left foot starts back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Left, 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 left. Then it's the right, 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 right. Then it's the left, 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 left. Then it's the right, 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 right. Top. Very good. Okay. Campanella number one. Campanella number two. Do it turning. It looks like this. And again, you look fancy. It's the same move you just turned. You just turned in place. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks fancy. So cool because your light tends to get a camera and it looks like you're doing some kind of really complicated thing, and people think you're a superstar. And yeah, <laughs> um, so let's try Campanella number two. Okay, Campanella number two. Turn over your left shoulder. Turn over your left shoulder. Ready? Yeah. Left, 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 Okay. <laughs> you swing mostly from the hip or the knee? I tend to, you know, it's a combo for me. Yeah. I think it seems to me like from the hip ought to be the target, but then it looks like a bell as opposed to. Go, go, go. Yeah, so I think the target would be. Medical. Back, front, back, front. You switch your legs, 
No, it's a... Uh, oh, just balance in general during the dance? Yeah. Um, I would keep it as low as possible. Um, if it's still bothering you, maybe this variation isn't the one. Okay. Is it just this variation that's bothering you? Get that variation. It's a variation? I would say this one's not. That variation is the one maybe for you. It's okay. There are ones I'm throwing like that. Well, I, mean, I, I, I was just thinking maybe I can spot it. Not that quite so much of a kick in it. Yeah, you can keep it small, like honestly, I mean, yeah. keep it like tiny. Yeah. Or I can do, I hope so. Yeah. Just do a little thing. Especially if you got a long sword on, very few people can see your feet. Um, there's a joke that Tolaria likes to tell, the new skirt galliard. Looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten just good enough that I can frequently tell when they're cheating. Most of the people on the dance floor will never know. Yeah, yeah, they won't. And you know, the other thing is, people flee the dance floor when the gallery comes on. Like, it's scary. But it's not. So the people who run away think it's hard. So no matter what you do, they think you're awesome. You must be if you're saying, right? I'll say, it's not the variations on the steps as such that are scary to me. It's putting together an improvisation because modern people who don't play jazz, when you say that, think, oh, I move completely randomly around the floor, changing my steps. I love the fact that you're doing these in blocks of four because that sticks with the rhythm of the dance. Other people, you know, oh, well, I'm just done with this now, so I'll change to something else, no yeah. matter to what the music's doing. Right, right. right. You have to fit the music. And um, I forget which guy from which manual, probably multiple of them, say, you need to learn the song that you're going to be belly arting to, so that way when it comes on, you know what to do and where you can put your cues so that you hit the cadence and hit the phrase every time. Because if you're not dancing with the phrase, I mean, you're also dancing with your partner. People yeah. tend to, you know, completely lose their partner as soon as the galley arts start, and you should either be dancing with them or at them. At them, yeah. We're like, hey, baby, I'm sexy. Yeah. Well, the effect of the drink that spontaneous stuff is can be prepared carefully in advance. I can improvise great if I have enough time to plan it carefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there are just chunks like where I like memorize the pieces, groups of four. And then um, I stick them at random in Gallagher and stuff. So I go, it's my solo. I'm choosing from one of five pre-prepared items. Don't know which one. I like this one the best, so I'm going to do it right now. But, <coughs> all right. Let's do a little bit more with this. We have to know our secrets. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to teach you the bunny hat, the ball zetto. These are cute. Um, this is kind of like the dips together. Ball zetto. We'll just do a couple more, and then we are going to talk about how to do this stuff together. Because what good are the pieces if you can't combine it tonight? OK? Yeah. OK. So we're going to bounce. To the left, it reminds me of Pinkie Pie from My Little Pony. We're gonna go bounce, 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 cut it. Go the other way. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, French is just magic. <laughs> other way. Oh, you know, you like you. You don't sound like a true room. There you go. Okay. There you go. Right. Okay. So those are balls, Eddie. They're nice and easy and lazy. And I was like, the gallery is really hard. Was that hard? No. Do you ever do them forward or just side to side? Or? You can do them forward and back. I'm assuming that when Composto starts listing things like you can do it twirling and around and side to side, any move can be toyed with that way and you just forgot to write Okay. <laughs> so I think you can do them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, double dutch. Um, if we put that with a cap and down right now, we do our first more complicated combo. Bounce, bounce, ring your bell. Bounce, bounce, ring your bell. Some people call it bounce, 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 bounce. Very slowly. Bounce, bounce, back, front. It's nice when you see something you haven't seen in a while. That's what's happening behind us. Bounce, bounce, finger, bounce. And just one, two more. Going, going, 
going to bring the bow, and then going, going back, front. Which one are you putting back on the tent? This is mine. I'm putting this one to the back. This one you swung. Okay. The one you swung will come back. Okay, just one. check. Thanks. So I'll go back, front. It does feel wrong though because it's like we're starting with our left, but we're doing a left good end. Well, when you say left good, I mean you're right with ready to go out. Right, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so just something where I think you find a way that's more comfy for you. No, no, no. It's, no, no, really. It makes sense, but yeah. right, right. It is. I was kind of in between. That's why I was curious. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, a lot of these are like if you find a new way to do it, it's even more comfortable for you. That's just another variation. So don't worry. <laughs> if you don't like what I make, make more cool stuff. <laughs> really, it's okay. It's all good. Um, so let's try that one. That boy going ring a bell. Okay. Um, so we're going to do four of those. Ready? Yeah. Going, going, back, front. Head ends, going, going, back, front. Head ends, going, going, front. Head ends, going, down the witch. Is that?
Or gentlemen, that if you care, we can switch. Lunch Tavern will be closing in 15 minutes. 15 minutes. You guys already ate, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the way that we might, you might choose to start this. Okay. Um, so we're gonna do it to the song that I have here. Not the same one we're gonna do tonight, but the first two parts are similar to it. We have an A part of the group before. I would suggest that the wrong thing to your partner. And you would do, uh, oh, have you guys all done this before? The point behind, points up on your toes, close kind of over on the same. I would do that sort of thing. Um, <coughs> you can hold hands with them. In your hands, the ones that you'll use when you go here. At least one more time. We're going to go points, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? There, you've eaten up half of an A bar. Okay. You've honored your partner, you have not yet honored the king and queen. It's time for you to honor the presents by doing content as they left and right. So this is how I would start every single one of them, for the most part. You don't have to, but I think it's nice to, you know, pretend we're in a medieval society. <laughs> Continental, I'm going to step to my left, rise, drop, step to my right. Very good. Um, keeping it nice and smooth. I'm sure I can show with my hands the direction where my head is going. Yeah, chicken pie. Stop doing it. That's not it. Okay. That's what I have. I call those the popcorn moves. Yeah. Carissa mentions that if you do that, you look like an undead person. Paraphrasing. This is the second she caught an exercise. You do it that way. So let's start that. We've got a part eaten up with that. Everybody, run around. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, two, three, four. Five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You are now ready to do this. Okay. Carmen, are both suggestions you should go for a walk first. Okay. 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 Do you need something? Or are you just hanging out? Yes. Okay, that's cool. Okay, hey, that's cool. Okay. I would suggest, in honor of our boat, you go for a walk for four second paces. Okay. You can walk to the Beaver Valley. You can go walk, 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 and walk. Okay, that's five steps. If you get tired during the Galliard, you can also walk it. There's nothing sexier than doing that around your partner while you look lovingly at them. It's hot. He doesn't even need to know that you're tired. <laughs> okay, so take your partner somewhere. For four safe paces, you will just walk that way in honor of our love. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, walk, 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 and step, walk, 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 walk. Step, walk, 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 um, in deference to our boat, you can galliard in earnest. What I might suggest is that you do a basic sangha pace. You can do it in place or somewhere. Decide amongst yourselves what you want that sangha pace to look like. Talk to your partner. I really like that one. You should like that one. Unless they're going there. We're going there. You're going there. We're going there. We're going there. We're going there. We're going there. Alright. You can go two in place, and then four. Oh, yeah, we can. We can, we can travel with it. We can travel with it. Um, the point is, you, you can, and honestly, I understand you can put anything here. We're just putting this for the sake of today. So you will do four basic second pace, either in a direction or perhaps standing still, depending on what you wish. Okay. And we have four more of them. Four more things to fill another uh, 
A lot of times you'll see people doing a man in the morning solo because you're tired. Okay, this gallery shouldn't last. No more than a minute and a half to two minutes. Was it last year? No more than it lasted five minutes. Yeah, I, I was impressed to watch you for that. I keep up with that. No, I just stopped, we just stopped caring and started making up crap. <laughs> it was a very long gallery. Um, <laughs> just never resort to source. Yep, I've got my own little key variation. No, perfect, awesome, yeah, yeah. Um, so at this point, that's why we're going to pause. And that's when you can be fine enough to keep dancing while the woman rests for a moment. Uh, I'm so normally what would happen is you might have like a C part that has four and a C part that has four, and then maybe they would repeat it back. We might have a little bit more music. Um, today you have four to play. So what I might suggest is that the guy does something for four. Pick anything you want, guys, and then you do something together for the Okay? When you get real advanced, I might do double, double, and triple. We're going to do that today. Okay. So man, do four things, you think about it, plan it, and then what can you do with your partner for three? Even if that is as simple as with my partner, I'm going to take right hands and I'm going to do three second pace sexy part. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That finishes my phrase. Get Darius. Well, Darius just got there with the four. We circle for three. Then it becomes my turn. So I will make something up for four. I might do something like, oh, 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 ding, dong, burn, the witch, ding, dong, witch, and then something else from my bag tricks. Very good. And then we might turn the other way. And now we can drive around because it's over. <laughs> okay. Symmetry is a good cheat. Symmetry is good. Rosa <laughs> prefers symmetry. He says people aren't being symmetrical and find them. So if you're not symmetrical, you're period. Cloaking <laughs> <laughs> Barbara is oh. the opening one. Cloaking Barbara is the opening one. Yeah, you know, just, you, when the musicians kind of play their final chord, no matter where you are, no matter where you're in the life, you'll just rub around and say thank you, Lord. <laughs> I don't apologize. Whatever you do, you meant to do it. <laughs> like the cat who falls off the table. Yes, yes. Very good. Unless you knock over the boot and not the man, you have to apologize. Okay. Okay. So with your partner, let's talk about it a second. Decide for yourself what you're gonna do. Think about it. You have a bunch of tricks to pick from. <laughs> Then decide what you'll do for free at the end. It can be turning, it doesn't have to like turning. You could just walk together around each other. Yeah. Okay. Um, how do you pass again? Mulanella. Always root for Mulanella. Remember, uh, I think it's like, uh, I think it's a burger thing, but name. Okay. Anyway. Okay. 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 And so the four, do something together for three. Make sense? Red rocks, do that. Um, let's take it from the top. Um, we'll dance it. And I'll show you. Well, it will be cool. It will be unique and awesome. And I can't wait to see oh, what you do. You're totally always spacing. Whatever. Okay, team, get ready to run the rocks.
I was like, that sounds slower than the real recording. It is. You can still form it. Alright guys, that looks really good. So just to clarify something. Is this the real way we have to Galagard? No. No, right? You can do whatever you want. Okay, we've done this as a placeholder. This will work for tonight effectively. Tonight probably what you'll do is I'll have a C part of 4 and 4. You can do a man solo and a woman. You won't come back up on your hands. But it'll work if you want to borrow this from my I'm taking the next one. There's no right way to set it up. There's just a way to set it up. Okay. So I've got you something to hang on to and dice it in the tree. Okay, so you can hang on to the soil. But feel free to expand on it later. We'll come back to the next one.